Zito said a full statement has been released by Tampa Bay as opposed to just Adam Schefter. So this is an ongoing story, obviously, between Antonio Brown and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The reigning, defending, undisputed Super Bowl champions of right now, Week 18, going into a playoff push. This is what the Buccaneers are dealing with in the middle of that. Seems like a lot of distraction. How will you be able to go on a run? You have Tom Brady. I guess that can happen. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have terminated the contract of Antonio Brown. Effective immediately. While Antonio didn't, did receive treatment on his ankle and was listed on the injury report the week leading up to last Sunday's game, he was cleared to play by our medical team prior to the start of the game, and at no point during the game did he indicate to our medical personnel that he could not play. We have attempted multiple times throughout the week to schedule an evaluation by an outside orthopedic specialist, yet Antonio has not complied. Maintaining the health and wellness of our players is of the utmost importance to our program. Mm -hmm. Good program. A lot of microphones on those sidelines. So this is all, yes. you know, it's a he said, she said. Well, he, he said, they said. Yes. Right. There it is. And they said, he said. Mm -hmm. So it's not a he said, she said, although that is the metaphor for conversations that happen behind closed doors. Who actually knows the truth? Those two are the only people that know. In this particular case, he said, they said, and they said, he said, but we're all going to hear what they both said yep. yeah. because there's microphones everywhere and i assume that is why the bucks laid out what they just laid out antonio brown is putting his story out there and at some point we're going to find the truth out i would assume because this would be attacking the nfl and how they treat players this would be attacking one of the organizations yeah. the reigning super bowl champions on how they treat players this is not a narrative the nfl wants to dive back into remember years ago the nfl was thought to not treat their players well and force them back into play, uh, playing new cba new guidelines new rules movies documentaries yeah. about all this has happened there's no way the NFL, if those, if that audio is available, is not going to let that be. Hey, this is not real. We are not trying to force players to play whenever they don't want to play. But who knows what or when we will hear that. Well, and you mentioned it. Like, uh, they must feel pretty good if they released his ass. You know, the it's same like, day that came yeah, out. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's like, okay, well, yeah, all this stuff will come to light. And, you know, maybe the, the guy who, like, I don't know why everyone all of a sudden is – you know, just taking Antonio Brown's word for everything. It's like, hey, this guy has been known to be a scumbag in the past. I'm doesn't not... mean he's a second-class citizen. It correct. doesn't. It doesn't. But guess what? You do. I mean, like, I'm sure he had a very strict set of rules when he became a Buccaneer. Like, you know, hey, can't do all. There's certain things that you have to abide by if you want to be here. And him taking his pads off and acting like an asshole and running out there, I think that kind of gave them all the cause they needed to. See you, pal. Yeah, a couple more tweets have come out from Carmen Vitali. She covers the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Bruce Arian said at no point did – who does she work for? We should uh, – uh, Let me look. She does have a lot of breaking news from Tampa. I think she's at – She the Times? Uh, I don't know, dude. Buccaneers staff writer. Okay, so okay. she works for the Bucs. Okay, Bruce Arian said at no point did Antonio Brown ask a trainer or doctor about his ankle during the game on Sunday at MetLife. Arians was never notified of it. Now, that is probably – you could pick apart that thing now and say, well, before the game, didn't they have a, allegedly have a workout to see if it could go or not? So that would be technically on Sunday. So it's all these things can get nitpicked. But once again, there's going to be microphones. Bruce Arian said Antonio Brown was upset in the locker room about targets at halftime. Arian said teammates calmed Brown down, but he got upset as soon as he saw the personnel that was going out on the field in the second half, a personnel grouping that they'd been running already. And I do believe Danny Boy Hustle Hard referenced on a podcast with Barstow. I don't know which one. Danny Boy mentioned something along the lines about the uh, ball. I, I, for, I didn't hear the entire quote. I only saw it written out. But that's not the first time that I had heard about a potential tar lack of targets being also feeding into the dismay or the anger of what's going on in Tampa. Hmm. Oh. There's a lot to digest. A lot. Oh, Thickens. Yeah. There's a... There's a fake Vax card. What? There's not enough support, maybe? What? what? Alex Guerrero not working? Oh, what? There's what? so much what? to what? it. There's what? so much to it. And honestly, you saw Guerrero on the sideline back to Antonio Brown while Antonio Brown was leaving. I thought it was interesting that nobody tried to stop him other than Mike Evans. What was that all about? But they just kind of give up hope and say, well, probably this guy's gone. Well, well they were like, hey, we're fucking down to the Jets. We got fucking bigger issues right now. Yeah, but it also could feed the narrative that they told him to leave. And, like, you know. Yeah. I mean, there's just so many different ways you can go. Need the audio. Need the audio. Because they have it. 
And if they're going to, by the way, any- if Antonio Brown was forced to play on a very injured ankle, in which he described there, and he, you know, felt as if they just shot him up with some stuff against his will and put him out there, that is terrible for the NFL and for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and it is something that should be talked about. Now, on the flip side, if none of that happened, and Antonio Brown is using this because they know it is something that you can, you know, present a very solid argument with morality and everything else like that then that should also be talked about, and I assume it will be as well. Once again, audio will come out. We'll hear everything. Yeah. B.A. speaking about the whole situation. Have you seen what is going on here now? A.B. has put out his statement that was very well written and thorough and full about his feelings on the entire situation. His, in, his ankle was injured. He told the coach he couldn't go back in because he was too hurt to play. He had a super specialist in New York look at it. He's got surgery coming. The fact that they wanted him in there is uh, basically against everything. He's not a second-class citizen just because he's fucked up in the past. Uh, he was cut by the team. He, wasn't, he didn't leave or walk off. He acknowledged that he does have some flaws. He does have to fix some things. It wasn't perfect. In this statement that was... Perfectly crafted through his words, I think, even though people will pick part, it wasn't him that actually said that. He's planning on getting surgery, coming back next season. Business is booming. The Bucs have cut him. B.A. has come out now, and this is via an NFL Dove climbing tweet. It's a two-minute, actually, it's like a minute 30 of B.A. explaining his side uh, to counter-argue what A.B. has laid out. Let's go ahead and take a listen to that right now, and I'm mm-hmm. listening to it in real time for the first time as well because it was too long to listen to during the break that we took. Did he ever ask a trainer or a doctor about his ankle? He never went through. That's the normal protocol. You go through protocols during games. I was never notified of it. So, obviously, that was a, the disturbing thing when we were looking for him to go back into the game. All right, we always had uh, – he was very upset at halftime about who was getting targeted. Got that calmed down. Players took care of that. It started again on the sideline. We called for the personnel group that he had played in the entire game. He refused to go in the game. That's when I looked back and saw him basically wave off the coach. Um, I then went back, approached him about what was going on. Uh, I ain't playing. What's going on? I ain't getting the ball. That's when I said, you're done. Get the F out of here. And that's the that's the that's the end of it. And uh, we are work we are working on Carolina. That's the end of the story. And um, hopefully it ends today. Hold on. There's. He accused you of making throat slash. <laughs> <at you. laughs> I don't know that. Is that a throat slash? It's, that's all it was. The finger did go across. You, hmm. you can't force a player to play. You can't force a player to play. I mean. They, they have that choice. It's their body. And uh, he decided to play. He and Mike both were on pitch counts. All right. And um, we were trying to manage that as best we could in the first half. Have you communicated with him? Because he had posted some text messages that were purported to be between you guys uh, about his ankle. Have you guys texted during the week at all about his ankle? I know you weren't actually physically here. Cause you were- no, I, you saw the text. I mean, it was out there. So, it's, you know, if you can go on Saturday, I want you with the team in case you can go. He, he participated in the Saturday walkthrough like he was going, so there was never another question about it. It's fascinating, AJ, because all of this is mic'd up on the sideline. Now, that's B.A. side. We read Antonio Brown's entire side earlier in the show. He basically said that they were forcing him to play. He didn't want to play. He said, I can't go anymore. Even after he did look great on that one particular route that has made its rounds around, because he says in his message, it's a lot different to skip off a field than to get off the line. So maybe he hurt himself on that particular play. But it's all it's all mic'd up, AJ. It's all mic'd. We're going to learn. We're going to find, I think. We're going to learn, but I think Bruce mentioned that, which I give Bruce credit. I'm sure there's lawyers of Tampa Bay, like they're trying to figure out what they, how they should handle this. But BA said at halftime, it sounds like AB had a little bit of a meltdown or, or freaked out in the locker room because he wasn't getting targeted as much as he would like to. He had he had an issue with something going on on the field, whether he's not getting the ball enough or he's not in the right personnel groupings, and then that 
kind of continued, I guess, once they got out there. Can somebody look up Danny Boy Hustle Hard on the Barstool podcast, which one it was and what he said? Because I had heard this leaking around the internet that Danny Boy mentioned something about Gronk getting targets. And I don't know. Danny Boy Hustle Hard is a massive piece of this entire thing. He's the driver, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Danny Boy Hustle Hard, who... So Barstool brought him in and got him on a podcast already? Yeah, I think so. Just yesterday. I don't know. I don't know which podcast it was, but I do remember seeing it on the internet. I think Danny Boy alluded to something. Yeah, I think it was on part of my take. And then also there was a video that came out yesterday of the whole entire team, the Buccaneers team, like basically breaking down a team huddle at midfield and A B just walking off on his own. And I think I don't think that was halftime. I think that was before the start. That was definitely before the game. I saw that video for the first time yesterday, and I actually almost tweeted out, How are we just now seeing this? It seems as if there was maybe some shit brewing since the beginning of the suspension, you know, via the the fake Vax card, but it is continuing to unravel, it feels like, this story in the middle of a playoff push, week 18, this is not what you should be, th- this is... Uh, this is not what B.A. and everybody down there wants to be focused or worried about, but it's very legitimate. It's one of the greatest football players of all time and Antonio Brown making some very serious allegations, not just about the Bucks, but as the NFL as a whole. And the NFL has done a lot to try to combat the narrative that they are forcing players to play against their will or uh, when they're injured, looking out for the future health and safety of the players because that is big negotiation tool and bargaining tool by the NFLP and the NFL. So I think this is going to get settled with the, the mics. 